Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we're returning to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach for one final video, and I think this is going to wrap up my coverage for the game, as we have made quite a few videos at this point on Security Breach. I may do one last theory video that I'm planning around Bonnie, I might bring that to you later in the month. But I wanted to make one last video because there is one area of the game that I haven't covered in a video and it's quite fun and that is the Monty Golf mini game. Actually hidden within this game there is a mini golf game and it's actually quite fun and cool so I wanted to bring you a little video on that today just to wrap up our coverage with one final quick fun little video. So sit back, relax and let's check out Monty's mini golf. Okay guys so here we go, we're going into the Monty Skater Golf area now and the arcade machines are actually hidden in the middle of this area, well it's not hidden but you know I didn't know you could access this until after I beat the game and I was actually inside Freddy and I saw that it was highlighted like it was actually an object we could interact with and yeah we can actually access it and play some mini golf so let's head on down, I'm gonna actually save the game in case something happens so we'll just quickly save the game here we go. Right, let's head on down and see if we can find this golf game. So I think it's in the middle of the area, so let's just shoot this guy in the head. And here we go, look, Monty's Gator Golf. This is the actual arcade machine here, if I can show it you properly with the flashlight. And yeah, let's check it out. And here we go, we've got I think nine holes to play through. So let's see if we can get it under par. Right, now I think this place kind of like everybody's golf, so we'll just line this up. Oh yeah, look, you can see on the bottom how much you're hitting it. There we go. Ooh, that was so close. We almost got it in hole in one. Alright, let's try that again. Gently. No, what the heck? Okay, this isn't going how I planned. I need to get used to the amount that you have to hit it for. You know what? We're going to restart. Let's quit the arcade machine. <laughs> that was awful. I want to try doing better than that, you know? Alright, let's try that again. So that was a warm up just to get the controls down. Look, we can see there. Freddy and friends at the end. I didn't notice that before. Okay, so let's try hitting this. We want to hit it fairly hard, like... This. And here we go. Is this going to be a hole in one? Yeah, come on. Yes, hole in one. Okay, the first game, as I said, it was a practice round. I was just getting used to the controls and now... Oh, this is cool, look. So we're actually in the original FNAF game now. You've got the three of them on the stage there. Where's Foxy? Is he behind us? No? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to try hitting it quite hard like this. Okay. Oh, there's Foxy at the end, look. You can see Foxy just over, probably uh, imagine where the hole is. Oh, come on, come on. Not quite. It's gonna be hopefully in free this one. Come on, come on Foxy. Yes, par. I think par means we got it in the shots we needed it in. So that's good. Right, how are we gonna do this one? Where are we now? We're like in the kitchen or something, or just the pizzeria, I guess. Oh, look, we've got cupcakes. Interesting. I'm going to try and get it in the hole at the end. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Can we get it in the hole? Yes. Hopefully this goes straight in then. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Ah, look at that. So that was the original FNAF, like, one uh, pizzeria. What's this place? This is cool. It's like some kind of... Oh, it's Mangle's room. Look, we can see Mangle at the end. Right, guys. Oh, no, I haven't lined this up right. At all. That was really bad. Okay, we won't talk of that. We won't talk about that. I'm going to try it again. Line up straight. Full power. Boom. Oh, we went over the top. Nice. That's actually really good. Come on, Mangle. Clap for us if you can. I don't know if you can clap because of your placement of your hands, but let's try and clap for us here. 
Yes, nice. This is fun, I like this. We're actually doing quite well. All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Nice. A cupcake cheering us on from the sidelines. Look, this is like all sweets and stuff. This must be Chica's domain. She likes her desserts. All right, let's try this. Gently. Nice, birdie. I think that means one under par, right? I'm not perfect with golf terms, but I think that's what that means. We're on hole six now already. And, oh, this is actually really cool. We've got baby there and her little baby plushies. So this is like baby's course. Right, we've got something moving up and down here though. Go. Oh, not quite. We're gonna have to hit it full on, like full power. Go. Yes, we made it, nice. Could this be a, oh no, it won't be a hole in one. Could this be, a, could this be done in two shots, I wonder? Let's have a look. Here we go. Not that much. Just to give it a little bit of power. Like that much. Boom. Eagle. Nice. Wow. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. So this one is sun and moon. Oh my god. That's creepy. Look. The moon animatronic. That's nuts. This is cool. I like how they've designed this. And that, like, this is something you could easily miss in the game. And it just shows, like, how hard steel will work on this game. Like, I know it's got some issues, like, with the story, especially in the, the bugs the game has. Could have been done better, but I do think that, you know, it's clear they put a lot of time and effort into this game. Oh, that was awful. Let's try it again. Yes! Oh, come on guys, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. I like that. Oh my goodness, we got Balloon Boy. And this actually looks tricky. This actually looks like it's gonna be tricky because we gotta get over, I guess straight across here, really. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. Boom. Yes, promising, promising, promising. Okay, nice. Can we do this in... One more shot, maybe. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, I should have given it a bit more power. It's all right, we didn't have par. We only need par to win. I think we might actually do this under par, which would be really cool. This one looks tough though. Look, we've got the Glamrock animatronics rocking out on the stage there. Monty in the middle, of course, because it's his golf course. But to do this one, we're gonna have to hit it dead at the center. So I'm really going to have to be accurate. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> okay, it's possible we can get this in. It's possible we can get this in. We just don't want to screw it up now. Look at those glam rocks rocking out. No Freddy in sight. Oh, Freddy's in the dumpster there. Oh, man. That's kind of harsh. They just thrown him away. Ooh, yeah, birdie, nice. Guys, we did it under par, look at that. Yeah, I got the achievement, under par. So we needed 28, and we actually got 22 as our score. So that's actually really cool. And yeah, as I said, guys, this is gonna be like where I leave Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach for the time being. Um, it's been really cool playing through this game. I don't think this game was like perfect by any means. You know, like I think it had some issues. But overall, I really love Security Breach, and I think it's a highlight of last year now, because we're recording this in 2022, which is crazy to say. But, uh, you know, the story had some issues. I wish they'd developed the characters a bit better. I wish there'd been a bit more of Vanny and Vanessa in there, for sure. And Glitch Trap had been a bit more of a predominant thing after they built him up in Help Wanted. I did have some issues with the story, like Gregory isn't really fleshed out very much. You know, outside of that, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was really cool being able to explore in a free roam world for the first time in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. The animatronics were really well animated and really cool. There was some awesome like boss fight moments. And it was just so ambitious. And I really want to applaud Steel Wall, you know, for trying their best to bring this game together. And I'm sure if they add some DLC to flesh out the story a little bit more and make that a little bit more interesting, then the game as a whole could be something really special in the long term. 
But as a platform, as a base to start with, I think they've done a really good job. This is the end of my Five Nights at Freddy's security breach coverage. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. And as I said, I might bring one more theory video in the future. But for now, this is where I'm going to finish it. I hope you did enjoy this video today. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.